Hello and welcome again. It's time to continue the Kerbal career mode and uh, I think today's plan will be try another um, moon flyby and Minmus flyby and maybe actually land on either or both of the planets even if it goes well. Also I'm probably gonna do some more plane stuff today and I don't know we'll, we'll see where we go we get from there. I think the flybys and those are gonna be more than enough for one day <laughs> and the landings and it may be even too much for my skill level at the moment and uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Let's get uh, started with the game immediately. Resume saved, load my progress. Three uh, flights in progress, I don't know what three do I have now? Let me take a look. Let's blow up some gettables, yes, OZ. <laughs> OZ Seaver. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, those failure and uh, Bill is still there, stranded on the orbit. And uh, Kermin's Desert is marked for some reason. Yeah, there is probably gonna be some explosions <laughs> today. Uh, let's uh, just try another moon flyby immediately, I, I guess. Just gonna load up the fly by air. It worked really well. I I really don't have any issues with this <laughs> design. I had no issues doing the whole fly by and everything. I uh, actually could do some you have the best pronunciation of your name yet. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think we should actually just probably go for it and uh, change this layout and actually just try to land. Why not? Let's uh, let's do it. Oops. Move this part up there. Uh, um, hmm, yeah. I've never landed, and uh, I really don't have any knowledge how to do it. So I'm gonna just just wing it, <laughs> which probably will end up badly. But let's let's just just do it. How is the Gerbins doing? They've been doing a uh, pretty well, Crumpy. Uh, I kind of want to take this uh, whole thing down there. Actually, let me see. Let me do actually some planning, and not just do anything too dumb. <laughs> Let's get rid of those for now, and those are pretty faulty as well. I I really want to take the lab there, and uh, two of these canisters, and I need the command module in there. Um, the command module could use more parachutes, so I'll add a... Where is the other one going? To the front, I guess. Yeah, of course. Um, come on. Maybe I'll add just one more. <laughs> yeah, crappy. Some days things are just difficult. Uh, let me actually not not put that there. Um, I know this uh, bottom part gets me to the moon and back. I just don't know how to land yet. Is this that part is the engine? <laughs> hey, Beirut. So, should I land this whole thing up there and actually fly it back? Hmm. It's probably not gonna end well. Ah, well. <laughs> just, just go for it. I'm gonna. How much fuel does this have? Hundred and eighty. Ninety. Uh no. We'll keep that in there. Uh 
Taking this whole thing in there is kind of bad. Hmm. Let. <sighs> if I want to land the whole thing there, it's gonna be really, really difficult. Yeah, land landing is is hard, period. Yeah, and. Uh, well, I don't think the landing is actually that bad. I, I think I can, can land. Getting out of there in one piece and actually getting back home is uh, more difficult for now. Ah, fuck. I'll just strap some ladders there and we'll fly this thing there and see how it goes. I mean, not too vertical, it won't flip. Put a monkey on top of <laughs> high flux isotope reactor ignited. <laughs> that sounds like a safe idea to do. Four smaller tanks on sides. Hmm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you didn't mean this, but I like the idea. Hmm. Will be my lander one. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Let's get not Jeb there. Bill Bremen is my hero, and uh, save that as lander, and we'll just go for it. Oh, I, I probably should have fixed my staging. Oh well, we'll fix the launch pad. Oh 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 no no no. I'm I'm gonna show you guys f one thing first. If the lander when the lander is tall, it's easy to flip it. Yeah, I, I would imagine. Uh, let me actually revert this flight, and I'll show you something I made off stream. Some people have, may have seen it on YouTube already, but I did something dumb, and it works pretty dumb. After the question, I saw a game that you have to land on Mars. Is it from Kerbal Space Program developers or from where? Um, I don't know what, what you mean. Is this there is a? I mean, if you mean, mean Kerbal, there is a Duna in Kerbal. Actually, I can probably show it. Well, well, there is a Mars equivalent of this in this game of Mars called Duna. You don't probably mean that. So, this is the thing I did, I think. No, 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 yeah, yeah. it's actually in the other hangar. No, not, not here. The multi wing thing, yes, crumby forever. <laughs> exactly, that thing. I'm, I'm sure most people didn't see the YouTube link I did. I mean, YouTube video I did. That I tweeted out. It's uh, the multi wing, yes. So, I, I made this. I had a idea of what happens if you add too many wings and uh, that spawned this monstrosity and I added too many wings uh, this is about almost 100 wings in here in total it's a uh, yeah 24 times 4 wings in in there it looks pretty like a Christmas tree and it breaks the physics of the game I'll just show you guys. <laughs> oh, actually, let, let's get someone else in the pilot. I'll just leave it in, in the air. Um, let's uh, revert this to 
vehicle assembly quickly. And uh, I'll send uh, some damn new recruiter. Mm, not not Jeb. Ordin. We'll fly this thing. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, Beirut. <laughs> this thing uh, is uh, strange, to be honest. SS on. Thrusters on. And just flight. It lifts kind of badly, thanks to the wings, but it does lift very well. Then, this is the thing about this, so it, it breaks the physics, so just turn off the engine. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go that way a bit. It's not meant to fly like this. <laughs> and then just turn off the engine. And uh, now that the engine is actually turned off, they should land, but it doesn't. And you can whirl it around, and you can actually gain altitude just by using the wings and put the thing floating in the air there, and it actually doesn't drop. Like that. No hands, no power. <laughs> it's just there. And if you look at the altitude there, it's, it's kind of strange. There it is. Just hanging in the air, doing nothing. Let me turn this this way. Whoa. It controls kinda strange as well. Now it climbs that way with no engine. And if you put some time warp, it just does this. Yeah, so much lift it breaks the laws of physics <laughs> from the wings. Uh, the wings create lift and it just uh, breaks the whole thing and it just floats around. Doing all kinds of strange things. <laughs> and then uh, I think I'll just just leave this in the air there. We'll go back to the space center. Oh. I can just leave him leave him there. Hmm. Our zoom flight. Can't I just leave him near and go back to the space center? <laughs> ah, I'm gonna leave this guy just hanging over the space center in the air. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Anyways, let's let's get this home. Ah, just just a uh, revert back to the vehicle assembly. <laughs> so that's for how how you break the physics of the game totally. It just floats in the air. With the lift from wings. <laughs> exactly, OC Siever. <laughs> it's kind of strange. You think you. Yeah, yeah, Beard, I, I broke the physics even more with that earlier. It will disappear as long as it. Oh, uh, uh, that sucks, Beard. I need to get it to space, I guess. <laughs> Would have been so fun to just have it float around in there, in front of the space center. So let's think about this lander. So Beirut said, if it's too tall, it kind of doesn't stay up easily. I'm not sure how to actually make it shorter, other than putting rocket engines on the side. Which is a dumb enough idea for me to actually do. Yeah, I know. Be uh, I saw uh, someone else do it as well. And uh, yeah, uh, you need to do it a bit differently than I did it. I just uh, quickly made it. 
Hmm. I think I'll just uh, try this. Let's do a quick try. Just, yeah, I was thinking adding four rockets on the bottom there and uh, just making it wider and have uh, landing struts on e each side, like eight of them in total, so it has more space to land on. Let me, I'm, I'm just gonna give it a quick go. So just launch this, uh, separate it in the air, and try to land on Earth. Actually, probably not a good idea. Uh, let's revert just. Yeah, beer. I I know what you mean. So I'm gonna grab those. I think uh, you mean this. Not sure about the added weight though. can go there like this. Yeah. So it, it has um, more landing gears and uh, it's a bit wider. Not sure if I want the engines on these as well, or uh, just have them there. Do I have? I, I don't have the fuel lines yet, which is kind of annoying. I was thinking uh, maybe putting a uh, few lines out of there into the middle one. Hmm. Hey, not buses. So when this lands, it has a bit more landing struts. Um, one thing I'm actually wondering about, uh, uh, where is it? Here. So if I have a strut connector, uh, you only missed uh, me showing the physics being broken. So if I have a space tape from here to say there, and when I shoot off these side parts, uh, do the things fly o fly off as well? Are you? Re yeah, yes, I am. Uh, as usual, night business. Actually, we can we can just try it. Uh, Yeah, I know, I know, Beirut. I, I could just uh, add, I mean, engines on these. Now, oh, where are those engines? Here. I, I could just have a small engine there in each of them. Strat will break easily if you stage it. Yes, they do. Okay, so I, if I just uh, shoot these extra ones when I'm actually landing this back to Earth, it should do fine. It won't cause any problems. Okay, good to know. Before you attempt moon landing, you should have solar panels. Uh, I think we do. We have solar panels. Voltaic panel. No sound tracking or deployment mechanism. Very light and cheap. We could have solar panels on the thingy.
like that. Hey, health Denskin. Yeah, it, it's a good idea. Have solar panels. You just have to spare fuel until you land, uh, or you will lose landing legs when you stage them. Staged. Hmm. Yeah, because I, I need to slow it down before it crashes in there. <laughs> can actually take that. Spa Whoa. That one off for a second. Mm, it adds a bit of mass, but. And an antenna. Yeah, antenna would be actually <laughs> a good idea as well. Uh, should we use the communication data transmission system? Communitron. What's the difference with these? Crash, crash tolerance is higher on this one. So we should probably have one of these. Actually, just let's take the antenna. I don't have fuel lines yet, uh, Beerus. I'm I'm gonna get it <laughs> as soon as possible. Yeah, that looks decent enough. It's probably not gonna end well, but it's fine. Have loads of science stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for reminding. Thermometers. Actually, we should have like a million thermometers because I haven't uh, used those properly yet. So, I'm just gonna strap a million ther thermometers on this. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. I think you need more struts. Hmm. You, you think uh, 8 is not enough, uh, period? Well, we will have more. <laughs> we are gonna leave them anyways uh, on the way, so we are not taking them back home. <laughs> hey, Oswix. Remove this just a bit there. I haven't uh, done... I just unlocked the thermometer uh, at the end of the yesterday's uh, stream, so I should probably have a lot of these on this and just get all of them on the way. Don't, don't worry, how done skin. It will probably go up in flames, but that's that's what the Kerbal is about. <laughs> One thermometer at the bottom. More struts between the lander and the main rocket, which you use at start. Um, I did use it uh, already on the launch pad, half Nanskin, yesterday. I'm I'm good, fast cat. <laughs> Thanks for asking. I did uh, some, uh, mo most of them, I think. Uh, I didn't use the thermometer on those and uh, this uh, lab yet, but I did uh, quite a lot of those. Just transmit back. Yeah, I should probably transmit. <laughs> Uh, you mentioned that. I'm actually missing landing struts on the main thing as well. Hey, hey, pit wipers. Uh, does the ladder? Hmm, probably does. 
I need a landing strats on the big one as well. Unless I think bring this whole whole thing back home. But I'm actually gonna separate it from there eventually. Which means uh, those ladders are gonna be a problem, I think. Oh well. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna be in interesting. Try to start and land right on the launch pad just to test it. Yeah, the problem is it's gonna be mo much more difficult to land on on the planet itself than on the moon thanks to the gravity. I'll, I'll try it on the planet itself, I guess. Just thinking. <laughs> nice net. That, that's a really quick kill. I really think I need a landing struts on this this part as well. I'm, I just don't know where to put it because I'm gonna have it in the middle there. We'll get rid of that for a bit. You got star towers. Uh, I do, uh, Half Dunskin. No struts? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I know what you mean. Uh, Beard. Let's just uh, give it a go. Three landing struts are enough. Mm. We'll, we'll play it safe. <laughs> Well, let's see what happens. Problem is, I need to separate this uh, bottom part properly. Also, I didn't uh, do the staging yet. So, those are gonna fire first. These are not gonna fire. Um, which one is this? Engine. I think the, the, these should be up here, actually, with that engine. So those fire up, then the middle part. We can just separate this whole thing when we are actually in the air. And we'll use these to actually try to land this monstrosity. Oh well, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, what happened there? Kind of pushed the middle part, kind of strangely. Actually, while while we are doing this, we could uh, probably use the thermometers. Where the hell I put those? There. Lock temperature. Five point six science. Yes. While we are testing this, we might may as well try to get some science. Yeah, I know how done skin. I'll probably try it. <laughs> um. Okay, that could be a problem. <laughs> I just uh, staged wrong, and uh, my side rockets fell off. <gasps> how up is this thing? Uh, yeah, how about these not just randomly drop?
Yeah, I know, Beard. I'll, I'll try this first. <laughs>